So Cadillac, they're reversing course on their 2030 EV only commitment. They still need internal combustion engine cars. And so they're not switching entirely. Basically, Mary Barra, you know, said they are now realizing that this, this is going to be a decades long process. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. And I'm glad to say that our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore, is back with us. How's it going, Bill? Very well, thank you. Uh, I flew home from Seattle late last night, safely in a Boeing aircraft. All right, great. Well, so Cadillac, while they have the Lyric and the the new, what is it, it's the Optique that's coming out, it's like a quarter million dollars, and they've got a Cadillac Escalade EV coming out that starts at about 180. They're reversing course on their 2030 EV-only commitment and says they still need internal combustion engine cars, and so they're not switching entirely the car maker ha- hasn't said how long it expects to see internal combustion engines alongside its BEVs. I think you have higher adoption rates among younger people, and Cadillac tends to be a more a, a brand that caters to older folks. Customer demand for internal combustion engines will keep them alive for a little longer. I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, that Cadillac Lyric, there, there's like four times as much demand for them as what they've been able to produce so far. Oh yeah, they've been they they've been selling they've been selling quite well. In fact, I actually saw one here at, uh, in Omaha a couple of weeks ago. I've seen a couple around Omaha, and it's you know they're obviously they're a nice looking Cadillac. Always does a nice job of making stuff look good. But high ranking Cadillac and GM ex- executives have previously said that 2030 would be the year that the brand would sell nothing but EVs, and they're they're going back to that on that across not just Cadillac, but it looks like all of GM. There, th- then again, part of that is just, you know, the economics and the cost of the thing, the reluctance of people to check what they think is not quite proven technology. Yeah, we know all we all the all the reasons that people are hesitant. And that's that's a barrier for the car makers and, you know, policy makers to figure out how to uh, how to overcome. And maybe the and maybe that'll take, you know, that'll take decades. I mean, Mar- Mar- basically Mary Barra, you know, said something to the effect that, you know, they are now realizing that this this is going to be a decades-long process. Well, yeah. Well, we talked about before, it's like they were the ones, I, I thought the Volt was maybe out a little too soon. It was a little bit of a premature vehicle. They were early, GM was early into seeing that. And if they discontinued it in 2019, but if it was still going, it would be insanely popular right now. I think it'd be an insanely popular vehicle. And so they're planning on bringing it back. And then the craziness of them getting rid of the Bolt. I mean, there there must be a good reason, but they've never really given one. You know, they keep thinking their other EVs are going to make up that space. And maybe they will. You know, we're, we're seeing the Equinox and other EV models, you know, they're talking about bringing the Camaro back as an EV. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see where that goes. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.